Hey guys, me Adam Man here. Today we're getting to the last stages of parting out this 1990, the Mariner Blue. And as you can tell, we've been kind of busy taking this thing apart. We had a friend of ours that wanted uh, some of the other parts of the front of it, so he came and hacked those off the other day. Uh, we've raised the body off the car, as you can tell. We've got an engine hoist supporting that right now. And that there is what the thing looks like underneath. So that's the rolling chassis. You've got the power plant frame in the middle. You've got the gearbox or the transmission right there. You've got the motor here and rear subframe and front subframe. There's your starter in there. It's a whole lot easier to get that off when the thing's out of the car like this. So in case you guys were wondering what this thing looks like when you take it apart, that's what it is and you can get the whole body off of it and still leave the bottom part in one piece just like that so um, there's what's left of the shell and if you want to have a better look and see what's in the rocker panels that's what they look like inside when you get a nice view right down the sight line of it and this is the frame rails these ones are pretty banged up Usually Miatas will have a couple of dents in them like that, but this one, as you can see, is rusted right through. So if you're buying a used Miata, take a look underneath and check all this stuff. Also check out the pinch welds here as well. Those are the fuel lines. Of course, they got cut. That's your fuel filter right in there. In case you're wondering where the fuel filter is, it's on the passenger side or on the right side. And again, there's like a little cover plate here, a little plastic cover plate, and then the fuel filter is right in there. Okay, that there is the emergency brake line. And they run from the emergency brake here. So right above that is where the emergency brake is and then they go like that and spread out to each side like that and that here is the fuel tank so guys if you uh, need to do a fuel tank it's not easy to do it unless you're on a hoist and you drop the whole subframe so that's what it looks like and this little round thing there is the drain bolt so it does have a drain bolt on it and that's where it is. It's got some undercoating and a whole bunch of other stuff over it. So it doesn't look like a drain bolt, but it is. And so if you need to drain your fuel tank for any reason, that's where you do it. There's the fuel filter again from the other side here. And that's it right there, guys. It's just about dead. It's living on in other Miatas though, so fear not. It's been a good organ donor for other cars so far, and pretty soon this will have a sawzall taken to it, and it'll be in smaller pieces, and then off to the next thing when it gets melted down. So, uh, hope that helps you guys out. In case you were wondering what anything looks like underneath, if there's something you want to see that I didn't show here, put it in the comments, and I'll do my best to put it on there for you. And uh, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll make you more videos. Thanks, guys.